So we're going down to the first floor, guys. This is the sitting room. I think this is the sitting room. Is this the sitting room or not? Maybe not. This is confusing. Pretty sure this is the first floor. So confused, guys. I think I know. Because there's a locked door down here. There. Yep, I thought as much. One library open. Find the picture of the sun. Yes. Uh, okay. like that.
Now what? What am I supposed to do? Oh, oh, geez, you're creepy. All right, we have a key now. I don't know what this key's for guys, but we're gonna just do what we can to guess. Uh, okay. Thankfully I haven't seen the supposed mother anytime soon, thankfully. Next minute I say that next minute she'll come out of nowhere. What's the point of going this way if I can't go back up there? And I can't go through there, so I'm the idiot. So I have to go back upstairs. Can you not please? This way, apparently. I'm wanted upward, guys. Oh, in that like an hour is I'm wanted downwards. <coughs> oh, that's not good. Are you okay? Bloody hell. Wait, what? <laughs> oh! It's a music box, guys! Uh, 
Oh, okay. Oh, damn it. That's not fair! Let me guess, I have to do that entire slow motion thingy all over again. Come on. Oh, come on. Where the bloody hell am I? Oh, I'm in the... Oh, you son of a... I'm in the library again, so I have to do the entire thing all over again. So, I need to be aware of where I've got to go before I do the music box, otherwise she's going to come and kick my ass again. He takes forever to get in the fucking... Oh, Jesus, that scared me again. I think she comes through here. I think that's why I didn't really get much time to hide. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut both those doors and then my closest hiding spot is there. Okay, let's do this. Pick up the music box, wind him up, and we're going to do this again. I will say it's a very pretty tune, I have to say. Oh, we're going in a different order this time, okay. No! Oh, you asshole. I thought it was going to be a Y, but there's no Y. <laughs>
that and run. Take that and run. Take it and run. Hide, 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 hide. Oh, just definitely putting, definitely shutting the doors on her was a definite. Ah! Son of a bitch! What the hell? Oh. What? I don't understand. We're outside. Hi, tree. What do I do? September 17, 1900. It's all over. After yesterday's devilry, I woke up from a nightmare. I went to check on the kids, but I wish I'd never woken up. Tamsin was standing in their room, muttering something, and my beloved children were lying at her feet, lifeless and covered in blood. That witch heard me into the room, and she threw herself at me and started screaming that it was all my fault. The maids ran to us, hearing the shouts, and dragged Tamsin off of me. Her face was contorted with fury and hatred towards me. She wouldn't stop saying that I killed my own children. She is totally insane. I looked at my children, and then the, the rage overwhelmed me. She killed my kids. I'll kill her. We hung her in the backyard. I want her to feel my suffering that she knows the pain of a mother who lost her children. But one of my maids betrayed me and helped her offspring run away. Harold, Ellie, Tommy, I don't know how to cope with this pain. I remember that's my mother's name. <gasps> she couldn't do it. I don't want to believe it. Wait. I am a son of the witch? <laughs> the hell is going on? I wonder if this is... Yeah, this is the tree that they hung her on. My beloved son, Peter. I don't have much time. Apparently, I will not be able to see how you were growing up. Forgive me for that. I tried my best. I tried for the other people. But it turned out that my only son would be left without a mother. I told Meredith to take you away from this damned... This damned place. I hope that the curse of this puppet has not affected you. Everything happened so quickly. That bustle. I hope Meredith managed to take my pendant and give it to you. It must protect you from the curse. There's so there's no much there's there's no what? There, I guess supposed to be not. There's not much time left. I hope fate will save you from all misfortunes. We infinitely love your mother. <gasps> oh jeez! Really? That's how you're going to play it? So my mother was apparently the witch. I don't know. That makes no sense, really. What the hell just happened? My mother tried to protect this family, not harm it. Who killed Ellie and Timmy? Uh, what was that? A vision? Or did I see the past? Suddenly I got in a weird place with a massive tree. It was so calm and peaceful until I found the diary. Everything started to burn and a woman appeared behind me. She was hanged. She held a note in her hand that was addressed to me. And suddenly I remembered she's my mother. Her name was Tamsin. Oh God, what did she do? Why did they take her from me? She only wanted to help. Okay, so there's other stuff going on. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell? I'm in a different room. What's this? My, my daughter has been acting strange lately and constantly running away to her room. 
She only plays with that doll her father gave her. After that conversation, I went to Ellie's room to check on her. Through the door, I heard her talking to someone. I was frightened because a creepy voice answered her. I opened the door and saw Ellie sitting at her tea table with the doll. I swear, it looked at me with, with malice. I took her away and started asking who she was talking to, but no matter how many questions I asked, no matter how loudly I screamed at her, she kept quiet, not saying a word, without any emotion. I was hysterical. Ah, oh, I wish my Harold was here. Okay. So I can't go out that way. sure what to do here guys Exit. I don't understand. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing now. that one there. September 16th, 1900. Dear diary, either I'm going crazy or I don't even know how to explain this. I woke up at night because I heard a weird whispering in my ear. When I opened my eyes, I saw a doll without a face sitting in the chair. I was so afraid. I didn't under understand how it got there. We who who brought it? I came close to the doll, but the damn thing ran away. The doll just stood up and ran. I grabbed an axe from the fireplace and pursued it. The doll ran to the do children's room and tried to hide, but I started beating it frantically. Then I heard someone yelp. The doll was standing behind me. She just looked and laughed at me. I quickly caught it and began beating it without stopping so it wouldn't run away again. What was that? What the devil is that creature? Where did Harold get this doll? This can't have been another hallucination or side effects of the drugs. I'm sure it all happened in real life. Alright, so there should be... Oh. Hello. Uh... Okie dokie then. Come here. 
me, damn it. Ha! Ah. Where'd the other one go? Ha! Ah. Come here, little one. Oh, no! Ah, damn it. Come here. Where'd he go? Go on him. Come here. Where'd it go? Oh God, what did I do? How did that happen? Huh? I will say guys, this game is good, but it's very confusing, I have to say. Controlled her eyes and played a cruel game with her. I need to finish the ritual, finish what my mother started. Did you like drawings of the curse? No. What's wrong? I remember seeing little dolls and started to hit them with an axe. But it wasn't dolls. Ellie, Timmy, they must have been so scared. I know, it was because I was in the room too. It's all because of that damn doll. Now I remember. Only together. 